hey guys welcome back to another video so in our last video we were creating this uh, livestock shed we created the side and uh, the back so let's finish this model in this video so the texture we were using for this shed wasn't working so i changed it uh, all the textures i'm using are either from quixel bridge or polyhaven.com i'll put the link in the description so you can go check that out and you can also check out the link for my instagram and discord so if you want to follow me on Instagram, go to description. So let's start. So I'm going to start by adding these support in the front. And for that, let's take a cube. Bring it out here. Go to front view. And let's increase the width a little bit. 1.25 also the depth and now increase the height Let's keep the height 15 and the width and depth to 1.2. Go to front view and uh, place it up here. Like this. Now select it and uh, go to edge mode, select all the edges, then bevel, turn down the flexion and increase one segment. Let's keep the flexion to 0 0.2. Go to your UV editing and uh, unwrap it, create an automatic mapping, then move and sew. merge these edges now select this and this edge then again move and sew also select these edges then sew them now select and uh, layout Select it and assign the same wood texture for this. Now go back to your viewport and uh, go to top view, create a duplicate and place this one here. Now create another duplicate and place that one in the middle. Now select this, go to front view and create a duplicate, then rotate it like this, pull it up. Place it on these pillars. Now go to vertex mode, uh, select these vertices and just drag them to this side here. So this might stretch your texture. So what you want to do is select this wood and uh, go to UV editing and just unfold it and lay out. So let's create the roof and for that I'm going to take another cube. Go to top view. 
select this cube and uh, increase the width and depth Let's keep it 24.2 Increase the depth Pull this up and uh, decrease the height keep it 0 0.4 place it down here like this and change the pivot to the back of this cube here and now rotate it you can go to right view and now rotate it like this now press ctrl shift right click and change to object mode bring it down a little like this then uh, go back and change the world mode rotate it turn off the discrete rotation and rotate like this now go to vertex mode select these vertices again change to object and pull them up like this maybe a little bit down Go to top view, go to vertex mode, select these vertices, pull them to the side a little, also these one to the left. Now let's add some support for the roof and for that what I'm going to do is select this or maybe this, create a duplicate, rotate it. Go to right view, scale it down, change the pivot to the back of this cube and place it here like this, then rotate it. Now go to vertex mode and select these vertices on the top. Go to right view and just pull back these vertices like this. Now select this uh, cube and again select the vertices here and pull them up a little bit. And uh, let's put it on the top of this other cube. like this Now select this and uh, go to top view, go to wireframe mode and place it in the middle of the grid or maybe in this corner here. And now create a duplicate, place that one here 
and press shift D to duplicate with transformation. So now our supports are done. And for the roof, what I'm going to do is go to face mode and select this face. Then press Ctrl E to extrude and add some offset. Like this. Then extrude again, add some thickness. Now isolate it and go to edge mode, select all these edges, then bevel, add one segment. Now press Ctrl Shift H and bring back your model. Go to UV editing and let's unwrap this. So go to create and select automatic unwrapping. Now you can select everything and what you can do just Select all the shells, go to layout and uh, click on this option box and scroll down and go to layout settings and in the tiles U and V you can increase them by 4 and 4 and select this layout UVs to create different UDIMs for your UVs and uh, that will add some variation in your textures. So that's it for this video and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then you can like this video and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video till then thanks for watching